Recommended tools Installation of manual arm kit with optional 6-inch offset brackets. Determine the pivot point for the manual arms on both sides of the trailer box. This will allow the arms to properly seat in the open and closed position. Center the offset brackets on the marked pivot point. When the offset brackets are in the proper position, mark around the ends of the brackets. This is where you'll weld the offset brackets to the trailer box. Using a metal grinder, remove the paint from the area on the trailer where the offset brackets will be mounted. Tack weld the offset brackets and attach the EZ mount bolt on plate assembly. Mount the manual arm pivots to the EZ mount plate assembly and secure. Insert lower arms into pivots and loosely secure with provided hardware. Then insert upper arms into lower arms to help determine the proper arm length. After the arms are installed, lay the arms forward onto the ground to measure the desired width, making sure there is plenty of space between the arms and trailer. This width will translate to the length that the crossbar needs to be cut. For easier access to arms, move the arms to the rear of the trailer box. Place each elbow on top of the initial mark on both sides and adjust the cutting mark's position, so that the elbows are even with the end of the box. Transfer the cut mark to the other arm and check placement of the cut mark on the front of the trailer box, making sure it works on both sides of the trailer. Double check the marks on the arm tubes and crossbar. The crossbar should match the width measured in step 8. Cut the arm tubes and crossbar at the designated locations. After cutting the tubes and crossbar, deburr and clear out all debris. Connect all arm tubes, elbows and crossbar to make sure the fit is correct. Test the position of the arms and crossbar on both sides of the trailer box. Place a single teardrop bumper on each side of the crossbar to check fit. Mark the location where the holes will be drilled for connecting the crossbar and elbows. Drill holes in the crossbar where marked and make sure that the drill bit goes all the way through. Clear debris from drilled holes. Loosely connect elbows to the crossbar by using the provided hardware. Drill holes in the upper arms, using the pre-drilled holes in the lower arms as a guide. Loosely secure the arms with provided hardware. Extend the tarp fully and have a team member secure the roller tube in the housing by sliding a 3 8 inch bolt into the roller tube hem tube groove. After the roller tube is secure, remove the pull bar from the tarp. Insert the tarp into the hem tube groove on the crossbar and center. Note, use WD-40 or soapy spray to make it easier to insert the tarp into groove.
if desired, slide an additional teardrop bumper onto each side of the crossbar. Then loosely secure the crossbar with provided hardware. Once all arms, crossbar and tarp are fully installed, tighten the hardware. After properly installing the manual arms and tarp, you now need to remove them in order to permanently weld and paint the offset brackets on the trailer box. After you've completed this, reinstall the system and test function. Secure the teardrop bumpers on the crossbar using the provided self-tapping screws. After all the hardware, arms and crossbar are fully installed, test the function of the manual arms. Extend and retract the tarp several times to make sure the arms fall into the correct positions. Pro tip, use the back corner of the truck or trailer box, or rope hook as a fulcrum to help control the speed of the retracting tarp. This will prevent the crossbar from slamming into the tarp housing.